This week we're going to find out if your true crypt encrypted stuff is really safe. This episode of Tech Chop is brought to you by GoToMeeting with HD Faces. Welcome to episode 28 of Tech Chop. I, of course, am Paul Bauer, aka Twitter.com slash Pablo. In this week's episode, we're going to look at three tools, two of them being free, that are specifically designed to either break into your TrueCrypt encrypted volumes or into your hard drive that is fully encrypted. Now, I know what you're thinking. How is it possible to break into something as tough as TrueCrypt? I mean, we've even talked about how great TrueCrypt is back in episode 14. Well, nothing is bulletproof when it comes to security. You know, as soon as something new comes out, some hacker's gonna look at ways to break in. The good news is that even with these tools, you can still make it very difficult, if not impossible, for them to break into your TrueCrypt volume. A lot of these things I'm sure you're already doing and your data is already safe. If you're not doing these things, you need to start. Before I go any further, let's take a minute to hear from this week's sponsor. During the summer, it seems like everyone is out of the office, working remotely, going on vacation, pretty much any excuse they can muster to stay the hell out of the office. Welcome to the loneliest room during the summer, the meeting room. This is yet another reason that we at Tech Shop recommend GoToMeeting with HD Faces. It allows you to meet face-to-face with your work-avoiding colleagues, no matter where they are. With GoToMeeting by Citrix, it just takes a webcam and a click to collaborate in group HD video. iPad users can even join in the meeting with the free GoToMeeting app. You can see your attendees eye-to-eye while collaborating on documents in real time. You'll feel instantly connected, even if they're in Los Angeles and you're off soaking up the rays in Tahiti. Not to mention how easy it is to use GoToMeeting. As a tech guy, I think I can safely say that a monkey can figure out this program. You're smarter than a monkey, right? I mean, you are watching my show. At my company, we use GoToMeeting all the time, and we love it. You need to start using it, too. Tech Shop viewers can try GoToMeeting free for 30 days if they use the promo code PODCAST. Don't wait for this special offer. Visit GoToMeeting.com, click on the Try It Free button, and use the promo code PODCAST. Be sure to use the promo code podcast so they know that Tech Chop sent you. In the first part of the show, I mentioned three tools that could potentially compromise your TrueCrypt encrypted volumes or full hard drive encryption. The first tools I'm going to show you will only work against TrueCrypt volumes, but not against TrueCrypt's full hard drive encryption. One is a command line tool made for Linux systems, and the other is a GUI tool that runs in Windows. The command line Linux tool is called TrueCrack and is available for download on Google Code. TrueCrack is optimized with NVIDIA CUDA technology. Now I'm not going to demonstrate how it works here because I didn't have time to compile it and run any tests. The directions on their Google Code page is pretty good though. It operates in two modes, brute force and dictionary attack mode. TrueCrack has a limitation though besides only being a password guessing tool, which is super slow. It only works when the encrypted volume is encrypted using the default AES encryption algorithm with the ripe EMD160 hash algorithm. If your volume is using any other encrypted algorithm, or better yet, a combination of algorithms and or a different hash algorithm, you have nothing to fear from this tool. Also, if you use a complex password that is greater than 8 characters, it will take way too long to guess using brute force or dictionary attacks. The next tool on the list comes from unprotect.info. This tool is purely a brute forcing tool, so you can't even come up with a set of dictionary words that might make it speed up a little faster. Still though, if the password is really weak, you will be able to guess it with this program. It'll just take a really long time. As a test, I set up a test volume with a simple password of ABC123. As you can see here, even with a weak password of ABC123, it will still take this tool over two years to guess that password. I think it's safe to say that with these two tools, your volume is relatively safe from attack. Still though, if an attacker has a lot of time on their hands, they could potentially steal your TrueCrypt file and take it with them where they can hack away at it. I don't know anyone who would want to spend that kind of time breaking in, but hey, to each their own, right? Finally, let's look at our last tool. This one is a professionally designed computer forensics tool that costs around $800 called Passware Kit Enterprise. This puppy is the real deal. I would show you a full demonstration in this video, but alas, I don't have $800 to spend on this tool. I have, however, used other Passware tools and I can vouch for their ease of use as well as how well they work. 
That being said, out of the three tools we looked at, this one is most likely going to be able to hack your TrueCrypt volume. Not only that, but it probably won't take too long either. The reason being, this basically does a cold boot attack to grab your TrueCrypt keys from your computer's memory. Password Kit Enterprise has a memory dump tool that works over FireWire. On a victim's machine that has a target TrueCrypt volume, all you have to do is reboot the machine and boot up using Password's FireWire Memory Imager and dump the running memory into an image file. Once you have the image file, you can then begin the process of decrypting the volume using the Password Kit start page. The Password site also says that they're more expensive Password Kit Forensic Package that goes for about $200 more can also find the password for hard drives that are protected using TrueCrypt's full hard drive encryption. The moral of the story is that strong passwords and password files can most likely keep you protected from free tools that only do guessing attacks. The only thing protecting you from the offline memory attacks that Password provides though is really good physical security and possibly not keeping your encrypted volumes open a lot so your keys are less likely to be stored in memory. That's all I have for this episode. As always, if you have any questions, please sound off in the comments below or sound off on our Facebook page. Also, if you know of any other tools that can hack a TrueCrypt volume, let us know the tools you like to use in the comments. Don't forget to like, fave, subscribe, and we'll see you next week right here on Tech Shop. Tech Chop is a proud member of the Tech Podcast Network. TechPodcast.com. If it's tech, it's here.